uh, he was actually lost the lead and then had to actually just take the W instead of just timing him out. Three, two, one, go! Right, here yeah. we go. Game one, Marco versus J-Mafia. Again, sticking to Yoshi, which uh, we, we didn't get to see it, but that is what J-Mafia used against Marco on the winner side. Alright, well, it's the rematch between these two because these two originally faced off in Winter's side. Yeah. Uh, yeah, J Mafia definitely got the best of Marvelous Marco winning 2 1 in Winter's side, and unfortunately, J Mafia lost a sharp 2 1. And we'll see how things go on the second attempt. Uh, definitely, all the links have a really good time against floaty characters, and we'll see what Marco can do against J Mafia. As you saw, as, as you mentioned it earlier, Z Fly, this match went down to the wire even in Winter's. Yeah, and I'm really curious to see if it will go down to the wire again. If J Mafia will try to infect timeout Marco like he did in the previous set. Uh, and if he does, will Marco, in fact, you know, stick to his convictions and, you know, try and play aggro even if he has the lead and there's 10 seconds on the card? Or is he going to really want to take the W and uh, try and timeout his opponent? Yeah. But we'll see if we even get that far. So far, these. These players have been going back and forth. Uh, Marco with the lead and slowly racking up damage. Wow, that Ethel reaches so far on stage. Oh, excellent forward air attempt to stop Marco if he went for a hero spin. Sorry, spin attack as the recovery. Second attempt here. That it has a lot of active frames to definitely punish an opponent on the get up. Yeah, a little, a little uh, similar to a move we saw in the last say of course you know with the spinny arms of rob another spinning attack uh not as broken though no obviously definitely not as broken but it definitely a move that if you underestimate you can lose socks or even be dragged to the front hit which has the most knockback but what an excellent punish from marco securing himself on the center stage and reading where jay mafia is looking to a land with that aggressive push that he had yeah seriously that was a great read Saw the armor come out, and of course, you know, whenever Yoshi is um, committed to doing his nair, it does last a while, and you do have the opportunity to, like, kind of pull back in space for it. But Yoshi, with the amazing air drift, uh, makes it very difficult. But here we go, boomerang into spin attack, and J Mafia fighting back with a couple nairs and forward airs. Yeah, good patience from J Mafia. Doesn't want to overextend itself. What a worthy punish attempt, though. Unfortunately, unable to get the starting hit, which will connect to the last hit. And it's really good to punish your opponents if they're trying to go for an out-of-shield option, or if you dealt enough pressure on them and forcing them on shield or out-of-shield as a call-out. And this boomerang is just tacking on little hits at a time. You can slowly see the numbers rising for J Mafia. And J Mafia, what did I say earlier about J Mafia? Whenever he's like starts feeling pressure and he wants to like really get rid of his stock, the stock he starts spamming down B. The down B's come out, the butt bombs from Yoshi. And look at that, we saw like three of them already. Yeah. Marvelous Mar Oh no, not like this. Why did that work? Not like this. That's crazy. But honestly, it was the way that J Mafia had tried to be careful from a possible fall from Marvelous Marco. Just because the way that you see where the boomerang was, usually opponents will go for an air dodge or a direction. It wasn't like it was an actual air directional air dodge. And the reason why you go for that is you can stage tech, you can uh, tech in general, or even just possibly use that momentum to get back on the ledge and i felt that's what jay mafia was trying to go for unfortunately marco did an excellent job looking to hold the most important part of the stage which is honestly center stage itself and that was honestly all the reaction to jay mafia and you have to give him credit because he had the right idea he didn't want to get into a situation where he was going to be forced to stage tech and if he was he wanted to be ready but immediately we're seeing the character switch into a rob it's going to be a different dynamic with this dude going on from here on out oh okay well i haven't seen the rob come out for jay mafia at all today so i am curious to see how this is going to go like even in the winter side i think uh jay mafia stuck it out with yoshi the entire time yeah
Oh no! Well, not enough not height. Yeah, that's not how you want to start game two, but you know what? Jay Moffat will definitely cash that out because he's looking to have a lead here. And he did an excellent job just holding shield, being aware of Marco's forward tilt. And the, honestly, the hitbox that it brings, even able to hit behind Toon Link. Okay, well, going for the spinning arms at the ledge and seeing how effective that move can be. But Marco able to evade and just weave around. Jay Mafia still sitting at 32% on his first stock while Marvel's code is struggling. Yeah. Good for Jay Mafia to use Robo Arms just because he's able to reflect back the boomerang, stop it in general, but there's also the end lag that all the links have from going for boomerang, and you can punish that so with Robo Arms. All right, stalling that recovery with the back air. Marco on the aggression here looking to possibly cover the high recovery. Yes, that's an excellent play there with Bomb to punish him, but no boomerang forward or no forward air. Marco with the spinning his own spinning attack yeah Looking it's really it's him. really good to cover rolls but also cover the stage itself because it hits to the main hit and depending on the percents Toon Link can also follow up afterwards yeah just like Jay Mafia is in such a prime position really like Marco needs to land some of those conversion projectiles so that he can really start you know getting his game going there we go. Meeting his opponent in the air with a forward air. And that's going to clean up. Or that's going to take the first stock from Jay Mafia. But here we go. There's the raw push and pull. Definitely the bully to the side of the stage. But Marco is able to live. More spinny arm action from Jay Mafia. You know what? I don't think this stage is uh, assisting Ooh. Marco at all. It's not really getting him anywhere to retreat. As you can see, as he's forced to go back to the ledge. Jay Mafia scoops him up, and Jay Mafia takes game two. Yeah, putting out one win a piece. So this is pretty much the situation we saw these two even in winners. And honestly, it's up to Marco to see if he has fully adapted against Jay Mafia. Finally, on losers, he started off really strong, but Jay Mafia and that first stock he was able to take off Marco definitely was the whole story for the rest of the game so far. Yeah, I mean, we'll see what comes out in game three. Looks like we do, in fact, have a stage change. And you know what? I don't blame Marco because uh, Final Destination, that wasn't it. That yeah, was not that, a great was, stage. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely not it at all here. But uh, game three, last game between these two, man. If it's going to be it, it has to be it now for Marvelous Marco. And it's going to be Pokemon Stadium 2. Honestly, the really excellent choice of a starter stage for anybody starting off. Unless you're playing against DK, you never want to pick the stage against DK. But in this case, between these two, Toon Link and Rob, it's all okay. Yeah, that's right. Throwing in a little DK shade where you can, huh? <laughs> well, regardless, Marco definitely wants to be somewhere with platforms. Honestly, I'm surprised that we didn't end up on a battlefield because that would have a little bit more platforms for uh, Marco to trap under and give him more places to recover if he ever gets doubled. As you can see, Jay Mafia is making great use of the platforms, catching Marco as he tried to land on the platform. And forward air, it's skinny arms, and that's the first stock of the game. Yeah, things are not going well for Marco. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. I'm really rooting for my SoCal brethren, but Jay Mafia just has such a strong lead here with Rob, and he's giving Marco a really rough run for his money. That's right. Marco, of course, fighting for his tournament life. And Jay Mafia, he definitely wants to get uh, make it to the next set so he can get his run back against Shark. Okay, retreating to the platform, very smart. Allowing Marvelous Marco to set up his own projectile traps and really pressure Jay Mafia from across the screen. Here we go, there's the bomb catch. You got a bit of a trade going on, very nice. Yeah. Jay <laughs> Mafia is still on the hunt. But for Marco, he's not really wanting to look for any negative trades and the more unnecessary damage he takes, like going for, just being in the air against Rob in general, it's, it's gonna be looking like a possible just grounded match for Marco, but where the more grounded he stays, the better. And he should only move when he's able to get a follow-up after Boomerang or just able to punish Rob in general. Down tilt carry, but that's not enough. What an excellent punish there what? using spin attack. What? 
A grounded spin attack killed? Yeah, it's really good for all three links. It's honestly one of their best moves. Especially, it's one of the, it's some of their fastest moves out of shield. All right, back air, well spaced, but also the way that it pushes Rob definitely makes it harder to be punished out of shield. Okay, with up smash, and there we go, double back air, boomerang, and the damage continues. Just yeah. Kind of Marco ended with a with a Zare instead of maybe like a Nair to kind of knock back J Mafia. Oh, what a punish! Okay. Immediately out of shield, too. I'm definitely sensing that Marco was going to have aggression in the air. What a way to try to poke the shield to get a shield break, but just not narrowly missing or meeting the threshold. But the forest smash on the reverse will be good for Marco. And he's tied this up. Yeah, with how, how strong of a start J-Mafia had, Marco was able to bring it back. But J-Mafia is still sticking to the game plan. He's doing his nares. He's doing his, his zares. Looking for gyros and forward airs. I think now, like, the longer the set has gone on, Marco has really noticed the, the pockets of time where uh, he's able to pressure and then land the hits with the boomerang or the bomb. All right, boomerang. Oh, what a play, too. Ooh. I like that he stays on shield. Not looking to play aggressive here. No, and that was that was really smart, like just to get in shield because you know whenever you're stuck between a rob and it's gyro, it's down till time. It's down till city. <laughs> and yeah. uh, honestly, like Marco also got lucky because the boomerang hit the gyro back a little bit and yeah. it kinda stopped the spin. And forgive me for the bias, man, but I just have a love for SoCal, but also just a love for seeing Marvelous Marco. Definitely continuously putting himself on the board, but also holding it down for us here in SoCal. SoCal, not a big fan of Wi-Fi tournaments, but Marco looking to definitely continuously just try and try again until he gets it right. Even if it's in losers, Marco is looking to try, especially with that up air. He's got to watch the landing there because J-Mafia was looking to punish for the back air. Oh, J-Mafia was ready for sure. Not only was he ready with the back air, but he was looking for a nair to really catch Marco on the descent. But here we go, retreating underneath oh, the platform. No. There's a down throw. Are we looking for the up air? Able to escape, Marco retreats to the platform. And Jay Mafia again, sitting underneath the platform. Yeah, that boomerang was looking to save Marco, but it just missed him barely. Marco on the oh, grab. Is oh. he mash out right? Yes, he does. Honestly, Jay Mafia needs to pull the trigger when he gets the grounded, the, the throw. The only one pulling the trigger here is do Marco the with the, the, yeah, do the up, yeah, do the up smash. Change it up, man. You gotta, you can't keep it the same at all times. What a punish. What no a way. punish. No it way. lasts so long. I told you. Wow. It's, a, it's a really great tool. At the ledge, or when you space it, out of shield, Link spin attack is great for Marco here. And he will get the revenge against J Mafia, moving up 2-1 and get into fight sharp in losers' finals.